Hi, my name is Deepak Malhotra, and I'm a professor of negotiations at Harvard Business School. I'm also the author of the book, Negotiating the Impossible, and I'm co-author of the book, Negotiation Genius, which I wrote with my colleague and friend, Max Bazerman. In this series of videos, I'm talking about the topic of negotiation, and in each video, I spend a few minutes talking about one key insight, one principle, one tactic, one strategy that I hope will help you in your own negotiations, in dealing with deals and disputes of all kinds. In this video, I want to talk about lie detection. Now, this is a very big topic, and there's a lot of time that could be spent on it. So here, I'm just going to talk about one key insight that, if you remember, is going to help you defend against lies and deception in negotiations of various kinds. And I want to start with the key insight that I want you to remember. Most people don't like to lie. Most people don't like to lie, but they don't mind if you are deceived. Now let's see what happens if you keep this insight in mind as you engage with people in negotiations, deals, disputes, etc. The idea here is that most people don't like to tell lies. Now why? Well, it could be that they don't want to get caught in a lie strategically. It could be that they feel bad lying or they think that it's unethical. Most people don't like to say things that they know are untrue if they can avoid it. However, and this is the second part of the insight, they don't mind if you are deceived by them. In other words, people are much more comfortable if they are able to not lie, but still get away with giving you the wrong impression. So too often what people will do, especially when you ask them a focused question, a direct question about something, in order to avoid lying, but still getting what they want out of the situation, what people will often end up doing as a result is instead of answering the question you asked, they will often somewhat subtly answer a slightly different question than the one you asked, a related question to the one you asked. So you might say something like, you know, is this the lowest price you can give me? And the reaction might be, uh, are you kidding? We've never given a lower price to anybody in our whole life. Now think about what just happened here. You asked, can you lower the price? And the response was, we've never given a lower price to anybody before. Now, what the person didn't do is answer your question. So one really useful trick or technique for detecting lies is the following. Ask focused questions and then listen very carefully to the answer that is given or not given. Too often, what people will end up doing is instead of answering the question, they'll give you a response that makes you feel like the question was answered, that makes you feel like the answer is what they want you to believe, but they have chosen not to actually engage in the question as asked. Now you have to ask yourself in situations like that, why do they do it? If the answer to the question, can you lower the price, was truly no, the easiest thing for them to have done is to have said, no, we cannot lower the price under any conditions. For some reason, the person chose not to answer that question. They could have said it unambiguously, they could have said it very directly. They could have said it in one word. And instead, they answered a slightly different question and gave you a longer answer that, if anything, could leave some doubt. That's the red flag. When you get into the habit of asking direct and focused questions and listening carefully to the answer that was given or the answer that was not given, often you can find out what the reality of the situation actually is. So when I ask a question of the kind that I just gave, can you lower the price? Is there any way you can lower the price? And the person chooses to answer the question in a slightly different way. That's the red flag. That's where I start to think, okay, a lower price is probably possible in this situation. Now I just need to figure out what kinds of arguments do I need to make? At what time in the negotiation or what part of the process should I be pushing for a lower price? Uh, to whom should I be having this conversation or with whom? Through what channel should this conversation take place, etc because I've already figured out that with some high degree of probability that a lower price probably is possible because otherwise the answer would have been no. Now, in a broader conversation here, I'd be talking a lot about when it is not appropriate to ask direct and focused questions, other ways of detecting lies, etc. But for now, if you just keep this actionable insight in mind, just the fact that most people don't like to lie, but they don't mind if you're deceived and you couple it with the advice, which is to get into the habit of not just asking focused questions, but remembering to listen carefully to the answer that was given or what was not said, you'll be much better equipped to 
figure out when somebody's trying to get away with something that may not be completely honest. Good luck.